Has it been seven days? I think it has. Well, you're in luck then because that gives you another solo overnighter in the woods. And today we're going to do a solo overnight in the woods building an emergency fort part two. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We want to enclose the front and the back. I'll work on the front first. We have a diagonal right here that's part of our framed out tarp. We have a bunch of these sticks left over from framing our tarp out. Why not utilize them? I'm thinking place them behind that diagonal, dig a small trench, pound those bad boys in there, and then simply tie them off.
Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Okay, so the front wall is complete and we got our pit dug out or elongated. So I'm thinking we need to go ahead and secure that wall. And to do that, I wanna go ahead and get another cross member and set it diagonal or parallel with my other one and sort of sandwich that wall together. Okay, so all I have to do right now is go ahead and loosen that tarp up and then pull it to where it goes over top of that wall and sheds that water. All right, like I said, I want that tarp to be on top of that wall to shed the water on both sides, as well as extend past that bottom wall over there. That way it can shed the water and snow. Being framed out and locked in, we're pretty rigid. I mean, that wall's not gonna go anywhere and it's good to go. 
but let's be realistic. It's in 5x7 Arcturus emergency blanket. And I guarantee you that the people that made this had no idea that someone could build something like this. But you see it's possible for a longer term survival situation. And like I mentioned last video, just hanging a tarp in the woods and let it flop around or build something like this in a day or two, I'm going to go with this. Always bring the bundle to your ember. Look at that fatty. Oh yeah. Look at that. 
Boom. Here we go, double western bacon bison burger. Mm. As always, if it doesn't go over place, it doesn't belong in your face. Mm. This is outstanding. Yeah, I told you my diet was gonna change in 2021. And today's a cheat day, so. See you soon. Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then please take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
So right now, just sitting here, it's 70 degrees. And I'll take that. Now if that's 70 degrees for a good 3-4 hours, and it drops down to 60 or even 50, that's warmer than outside. And for an emergency shelter or an emergency fort in the woods, if all I have were my clothes and hot rocks, I'll take that versus being out there and being exposed. So I'm happy as hell with this. Outstanding. Yeah, I'll take this. 70 in here and rising, 38 out there and dropping. Um, and that's with the back door open. Now, I'll explain the back door really quick. The back door is open because I want to put a removable panel there. So I thought about how I can do that. And I thought, well, it's just too much work to do in one day. So I'll come back for a part three sometime in the future. And I want to explore other heating options for this emergency fort. So I'm leaving that open for now. So I have access to it. But we'll do her right, trust me. So speaking of channels, this is a taste of 2021. Awesome shelter builds, awesome chow, goals, and I'm taking you guys with me. So speaking of channels, here's my channel of the week. I'll be short and sweet. It's a female, and if you're into wild edibles, medicinals, and pottery, clay work, this is the channel for you, Modern Witch Doctor. Check her out. Let's go ahead and get her boosted up, two, three, four thousand subs, boost her watch time up, and get her monetized. Once again, these small channels are gold, and there are diamonds in the rough. Every one of them I've mentioned over the past year, and they're just not being seen or heard because they're being buried in the toxic soup of YouTube. Um, such is life. So check her out, Modern Witch Doctor. This is my final video of 2020. Yes, next week is 2021, so this is my final video for 2020. So here's my final message to all my legions. No matter what happens next year, the change of command, forced vaccinations, gun confiscation, or just the apocalypse and hell on earth, remember this. After the fighting stops and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild not just walls not just buildings but hearts and minds and ultimately america itself at corporal's corner our future begins Not bad. Not bad at all. To be brutally honest though, I have no idea what this is. It was in that Ziploc bag on the top shelf and had sat there for probably a good part of a year. But, tastes outstanding. Let's go ahead and talk about our shelter. It's just a continuation of our emergency fort in the woods. And what do we do? We dug a trench out and we sank some poles and created a front and back wall. We also created a doorway. Um, from that point, we went ahead and dug out our trench or our fire pit area for our hot rocks, elongated that, and added some more rocks, and bumped that heat up immensely. Um, I'm very happy with that. Now, what else could we be doing? We can come back for a part three, part four, add an actual door on there that actually swings open and closes. Um, I'm not happy with the current situation with that, so that could be improved upon. Also, all the gaps in our logs could be clayed up. Um, there's always room for improvement and still give it the functionality of the movable signal panels. So, I appreciate everybody that watched part one. Um, check out part two. <sighs> it's an outstanding fort. If I do say so, my damn so.
Why? Because I built it. Um, seriously, um, like I mentioned last time, it's always good to get out here and see what you can do with a minimum kit. And I believe with that, we did what? We used a saw, some cordage, pocket knife, maybe a bushcraft black, um, nothing big. So you too can build something like this with minimal gear. No Home Depot or Lowe's parts required. All right, so let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. This here is a taste of 2021. Um, I want to get into some bigger, badder builds. I want to get into something where I can push myself to see what's possible for me, see what I can do, and I'm going to take you along. So, stand by. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page, and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are located inside my description box. Now please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm gonna catch you next time.